Hey everybody, welcome to Black Money Daily, economic news from my point of view. I am your hostess, Sheree, and we release this podcast every weekday at lunchtime so that you can get your economic news really quickly. Okay, so story number one is in regards to racial inequality, costing the U.S. economy $16 trillion over the last two decades. This was a study that was done by Citigroup, who wrote the report about the impact of racial inequality. Here are some of the interesting facts about the report or from the report, I should say. Number one is because of the lack of lending to black businesses, the economy lost $13 trillion and 6.1 million new jobs. Number two, another 2.7 trillion was lost due to the racial wealth gap of black Americans. Number three, $90 billion was lost due to the lack of higher education for Black students. And number four, $218 billion and seven, uh, sorry, $218 billion was lost due to the lack of equality in access to housing and 770,000 additional Black homeowners are not going to be seen because of this. You can Google the report and the 10K Project will do a deeper dive into this report in our upcoming fireside chat on October 5th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. The, um, if you go to the10kproject.com, you'll click on the link that says, is there any hope for Black America? An economist speaks. We're going to ask the economist about this report and do a deeper dive with regards to this. So we want you to register to attend. It is no charge to attend. Story number two, the grocery stores and the food producers are beefing up inventory for a potential second wave of COVID-19 and for the holiday season. According to the Wall Street Journal, grocers are buying what they are calling, quote unquote, pandemic pallets to ensure um, cleaning and sanitizing products are readily available in its warehouses and to prepare for high demand throughout the end of the year. Grocery chains like Giant and Food Line are storing 15% more inventory than it did before the pandemic to ensure it would not run out of fast food selling items. So food producers are concerned about food shortages. The grocery stores are stocking up. All I can say is people, you better be prepared. Story number three is all about this company called CarCam. And you may find yourself saying, Alexa, I'm being pulled over. The company Ring, which is owned by Amazon, was first known for its doorbell, but is now releasing a new product, their car cam, which allows drivers to record police interactions when pulled over. The car security camera does everything from sensing attempted break-ins to videotaping what's going on in and around your car with its dual facing cameras. The traffic stop feature Uh, by Ring is not new. Apple released a Siri shortcut in 2018 that enables you to start recording on your device by saying, Siri, I'm being pulled over. The feature gained renewed interest in the light of what's happening currently in the country, and the device is expected to cost about $200. Now, our show is being sponsored by the 10K Project, and we have an upcoming event called Personal Finance Strategies to Close the Wealth Gap. It is featuring Madam Money's Tara Jackson. It's happening on Wednesday, September 30th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. You can visit the10kproject.com in order to register. There's no charge to attend. And if you can't make it live, don't worry about it. You can get the replay. Just register and we will be sure to send the replay to you. There was a McKinsey report that stated that Black Americans are expected to lose 4.5 million jobs due to artificial intelligence in the next decade. We're seeing some of that happening now all the way across the globe in Tokyo, where there are seven foot robots stacking shelves in Tokyo convenience stores. Although robots are cost competitive with human labor, companies may feel that it's more attractive because there's no sick leave, maternity leave, or quote unquote, bad attitudes. 
our people need to get ready for this and position ourselves for 21st century jobs, which leads us then to Career Tuesday. Every Tuesday, we are going to give you a career tip and here it is. If you want to make more money in your corporate job, companies pay more money for what they call specialists. Think about it. Who makes more money? A food service worker or a classically trained French chef? A website designer or a blockchain developer? What does this have to do with you? It's quite simple. The way to make more money is to specialize in something that will be relevant over the next seven to 10 years. Our suggestion is, so you, is for you to study your industry, pick a niche, then ask your boss or others in your company if you can participate in special projects that will give you the skills and experience you need within that niche. Experience beats education, and recruiters ring the phones of people who not only have the experience, but also showcase it on their LinkedIn pages. So what do you think of today's show? We'd love to hear your comments about our topics. Are you preparing for the expected food shortage? If so, how? If so, sorry, how? What are your thoughts about America losing $16 trillion due to racial inequality? Are you concerned about losing your job to artificial intelligence? How will you use the Career Tuesday tip to further your career aspirations? Tell us what you think. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend or two about Black Money Daily, and we'll see you tomorrow. So that's today's podcast. We'd love to hear your comments about the topics. Are you preparing for the food shortage? If so, how? What are your thoughts about America losing $16 trillion due to racial inequality? Are you concerned about losing your job to artificial intelligence? How will you use the Career Tuesday tip to further your career aspirations? Tell us what you think. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend or two about Black Money Daily. We'll see you tomorrow.